Hi, this is Duncan Wilkie reporting for Players Television. I'm here at the PLO event with 7th place finisher Felipe Ramos. Now Felipe, commiserations on busting out, but with such a tough field you must still be proud of your achievements. Oh yeah, of course, very, very tough field. Like I, I faced the best PLO players in the world, 100% sure of that. I've seen amazing, amazing plays, amazing guys. Uh, so I'm very happy with this final table. Mm -hmm. Like of course I do want to win, like, but who doesn't, right? Yeah. So there's only one winner. And overall, when you play poker, like you want to be a profitable player, and that's all that matters in the end. And it was quite a roller coaster final table for you. You were all in quite a few times, sometimes behind, sometimes ahead. I mean, how's that deal with your emotions? Yeah, yeah. Like as a South American, as a Brazilian person, like I get, of course, more involved emotionally than other other people. Like that's how we are. Okay. And the thing is, like I had a big, big opportunity to, to. To, to hit big the first three spots whenever I had like a monster draw versus naked aces yeah. on the flop. So like any pair, trips, uh, gut shot, flush draw, the backdoor, <laughs> backdoor both straight draws, up and down and backdoor flush draw. <laughs> so like I was, I was massive. So and missed I, the entire deck. Yeah, and <laughs> I, yeah, and I couldn't, couldn't hit him. Mm -hmm. But this is short term business, right? So I can hit, I cannot, so. And uh, like if I, if I win the hand, I'll probably be running for for top three hundred percent because I would be like second stack. Yeah. And then I guess I was playing pretty good and very focused on my game. Mm -hmm. Plus, and then after all the other hands, as you said, like I was little down and little up. Like the margins were very very tight, very tight. Uh, plus, um, yeah, happy with my result. Mm -hmm. And of course, you yourself are in great form at the moment with the World Series, the English Poker Open, where you final tabled, and now another final table here. You must be really confident in your game right now. Oh yeah, that's good. Like I'm an overall player. I play a lot A game, mix A games. I play PLO a lot. I play No Limit Holding. So like, I never made like two major events back to back final tables. Like I mean, like being fourth place in the English Poker Open. My next event was this event, and I final table again. Like this is very very good. Mm -hmm. Like I feel, I feel very good about my game. I really felt that I'm playing much better, and I could see all the points uh, that I was missing on my errors from before. It, get, it gets very, very, very clear to me that why I wasn't getting the results I wanted. Mm -hmm. And then I feel I became a better player, better player by now, and I'm gonna gonna tr try try to keep it working to to hit some more good results. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'd like to ask you, you mentioned South American players earlier, and particularly Brazilians, there's quite a few big names coming through at the moment. We have Alex Gomez, Raul Oliveira, and yourself, of course. Uh, is poker really growing in Brazil at the moment? Yeah, yeah. Nowadays, I can tell you got a, about six to eight players like that can face any player, whatever, whenever, in every game. Like, plus, you're talking about these names, there's also Christian Crew, Thiago Decano Nishijima, there's... Uh, Leandro Braza, there's a bunch of a lot of players. Plus, we got a lot of very good online players, mm -hmm. as João Matias, Caio Pimenta, João Bauer, that just won a W Coupe number three for 335k. Like, yep. so we got a lot of good players, and like, as as the information is coming to our country, like you know, all these guys, are, uh, Andrea Carlos, for example, has a poker training site. Like, I'm a lot, I'm, I'm, I'm launching a training site or. I'm having a, two discussing a deal about having one all, as well. Yeah. So people are getting information now. So as we have like 200 million people like in our country, and we have pretty much we do a lot we do a lot in sports in Brazil. Mm -hmm. So people are getting information and they, they started playing simply. So nowadays I guess Brazil is the fourth or fifth big biggest market online. Mm -hmm. Like this means a lot like for the poker sites. And so I guess they will invest a lot in our country that like poker got very, very big right now in Brazil because we're going to have the World Cup plus the uh, Olympic Games in a row in Brazil. And poker was accepted as a Olympic game, right? As, as a mind sport by the International Mind Sports Association. So this was very well repercuted uh, by the government. So all the poker tournaments now in Brazil, they're legal, like the government supports it. So this is going to make the situation much better. 
Mm -hmm. And I presume we'll only see more big players coming through from Brazil then. Yeah, of course. Yeah, nowadays there's there's very very few players that can travel the world like and play tournaments as I'm doing right now. Like, yes, yeah, because like it's so difficult to live live by poker, right? To live yeah. from poker. So it's like a scale that you have to walk up. And then I'm pretty sure that in the very, very, very few years, like I mean like two or three years, mm -hmm. like we have a lot of Brazilian players in the circuit playing all the events. And okay, back for you personally, uh, what have you got planned for the next few weeks? Will you be sticking around to play the heads up and the main event and maybe the uh, EPT London? Well, yeah, my plan was to come to London and play all the events that I could uh, play possibly. Like I played the... Uh, WPT, mm -hmm. I played the uh, World Open and I played the English Poker Open. This was my fourth tournament, so I'm registering. I'm registering right now for the 1K tomorrow, uh -huh. plus the main event. Not sure if I'm gonna play the heads up. Uh, I'm not a big of heads up specialist. Uh, I feel quite good playing heads up live. I'll never do that online. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm still thinking about. Still thinking about. Sti so these, these are pretty much the tournaments I'm going to play, plus the EPT, yeah, 100% going to play the EPT if I bust. Uh, I'm not playing any high holder events, no. but uh, probably playing the PLO or the A game at the EPTs. Okay. Well, Felipe, best of luck in what you do play, and congratulations today. All right, thank you so much. And alô para o Brasil, muito obrigado, um abraço, hein? Tchau. <laughs>